Welcome back to Aussie Coiny Chunters. Well, this will probably be my last um, coin noodle for the uh, year. Um, I've already gone through most of the coins. Um, I've got another jumbo bag of 50 cent coins. Uh, so I've gone through most of them already. I've just left five bags to um, go through with you guys. And so, yeah. Um, just like to thank all the subscribers and thank everyone for the support and comments. Um, I wasn't expecting all the support that I've been receiving. So, yeah, thank you all. And, yeah, let's hope that um, 2021 is a better year for all of us. And we can put 2020 behind us. And so, yeah. Okay, let's just get started. So with the 50 cent coins, I'm always looking for the uh, low mintage or so the 85 and um, 93 and also some commemorative um, 50 cent coins depending on um, which ones they are. So yeah, no, that's not a marble. One of the commemoratives is the Marbo I'm always looking for. Uh, they're a low mintage, so I don't. Oh, there's a 2018, um, somewhat of a low mintage. I have been keeping them, um, so yeah, I'll put that one aside. The 2018 is actually a lower mintage than the um, 2016 changeover, so yeah. There's still a lot of rounds, um, but most likely in the future they will um, all dry up, start to dry up as more people start to take them out of circulation. So that's my thinking, that's why I keep um, most of them, only if they're in good condition. So no cuds on this, so I can see. Sometimes you get cuds on the Bass Flinders one. I hope everyone's doing well um, and staying safe. Also for the people overseas, um, it's been a pretty bad year with the virus. Um, in Australia, it seems like we have contained the virus right now. Um, so we've been very lucky. Uh, here in Melbourne, there's no community transmission, which is good. It's just um, hotel quarantine where there's a seven cases, I believe. Okay, this isn't a wide date. This is just a standard year of the family. Is this an incused? No. Nope. Or a fat letter? No. It's actually in nice condition, this one. So I might keep that aside. I do keep the good ones aside. I do know it's a popular coin, so I do keep them. I will show my finds that I've got um, just before I've started recording. Um, I'll do them after this. Okay, I can already see something that's very nice. A ram's head. There we go. Beautiful. I keep all these. This one's in very nice condition. Even though I believe there's 4 million minted, but these you don't come across very often. I think it's one of the most popular um, commemorative 50 cent coins in Australia. So, yeah, they are starting to dry up. I don't find many. I, I can't remember how many I found this year, but it hasn't been many at all. So, yeah, that's a nice find. I'm very happy with that. World War Two. Looks like a somewhat cud, but yeah. 
Here's a chin card. I'll just get me pointer so people can see. If the camera wants to focus, you can see the card right there. It's not worth really keeping, they are common. I'll try and get through these as quick as I can. You always want to rotate your coins. Uh, you never know. The main one for the 50 cent coins is the 2010. Um, that's the main rotated coin out there for 50 cent coins, but you just never know. Um, sometimes this, the 2007s have the doubling on the 50. But yeah, nothing here. So you just never know, so you rotate all the coins because you never know, you could be one of the lucky ones to find um, a rotated coin that no one even knows about. So, And if that's the case, and it's um, the first one, then yeah, it's, you've got a, um, a nice keeper. And there's a 74, but I do keep these if they're in good condition. This one's a bit beat up, so. Even though I believe the 74 is 4 million, I believe. Or a bit, uh, no, I think that's a 9 million. It's a 72 and 73 that are around the 4 million, or just a bit over. Is this a double bar? Nope. I don't know why, but the 72, 73, and 74. Um, oh, here we go. That's good. This um, Federation coin, uh, Norfolk Island. So that's another nice find. That's good. Two in the one bag. Um, so as I was saying, um, So yeah, the 7273, uh, they do sell for over face value. Um, sometimes you, some pe uh, sellers sell them in um, sets, uh, so you can pick them up. But you can um, go through coins, you, you'll find them. Uh, it just depends on the condition. Sometimes... Um, they are well worn for those three years. We'll talk the 97. So 97 is another one. It's four, around 4 million. That's in nice condition, so I'll keep that. I do keep 97s. Um, now there's a 2010, but it's not rotated. So so if it was rotated, it's some, it, it would look like that around... Yeah, it's normally around that. But yeah, this one isn't a rotated. So as I said before, the 2010 is the common one for when it comes to rotated coins. There's another 2010, but again, not rotated. So I hope everyone has a, um, a good Christmas with the family and friends. Um, here in Australia we can. Um, they just opened up all the borders recently so that was good. Um, not sure about overseas, I know the virus is yeah, out of control but I just hope everyone's staying, uh, staying safe. But for us in Australia we've been lucky. So, yeah, we can um, visit family and friends for Christmas, so, yeah. So I won't be coin noodling for a couple.
couple of weeks. Um, I may still do some here and there, but not as much as I have been. I won't be doing jumbo bags, but uh, depending on how I feel, I might pick up a few. Now, they're just scratches, yeah. Might pick up a few bags to just noodle. And here we go, another Federation coin, Western Australia. So that's another nice find. I'm still yet to get a full house of um, Federation coins when I do uh, jumbo bags. Uh, I think the I was off by three um, not long ago. But yeah, it's very hard to get the um, full house. Full house is basically all of them. Uh, yeah. Is that what I think it is? It is too. Oh, beautiful. A 1985. So that's a low mintage of 1 million. Oh, beautiful. This is turning out to be a good jumbo bag. So we've got two somewhat rare coins in the um, Rams head in the 1985 50 cent coin. Now can we finish it off and get a 1993? That would be really good. I will recap and show the coins that I found um, earlier before I started recording. Try and keep this under 15 minutes if I can. I don't like to keep the videos too long. That's a very nice 84. But I've already got a few of them. If they're in good condition, you can keep them and make up some sets. It's another nice um, Millennium. But again, I'll just put it aside. Marbo. I haven't found a Marbo yet today, so even in the coins earlier, I didn't find one. So I don't always find them. I'll try and get through this last bag in quick time. No double bar. With the double bars, I only keep the uh, uh, double bars that are in where the coin's in good condition. If not, I put them back. They are common. I do find a lot of them. More so the um, 1980 than the um, 1979. So 1979, I believe, is the is the um, harder one to get. Okay, last bag. Just quickly go through these. So I can go through them a bit later on. Just to make sure that there's no um, error, errors or cuds. Been a good day so far with the Rams head and 80, 85, so yeah. Be nice if I can get an eight, uh, 93 to go with it, but I doubt it. I actually may do a video on all the finds this year. Um, Problem with that is, is that I've got a lot. I've put a box away in storage, so I have to get that out. That's not rotated, but yeah, another nice 84. Yeah, coming up to 15 minutes, it may just go a little bit over, but yeah. Uh, 
the majority of coins I went through this year were um, 50 cent coins, so that makes up the bulk of my coin noodling. I did do a fair few um, $1, not as many $2 anymore. Um, I don't know, just gone off $2 coins for now. I prefer the 50 cent coins. This one's a nice 79, but it's not a double bar. And the last one for the year is 2012. Okay. Okay, so these are what I got earlier. The changeover. I did get a robe card. Right there. I did get a beat up Queensland Federation coin. Uh, this is really beat up. I just keep it. Um, it could be used as a space filler until you find a better one, but yeah, just keep that aside. South Australia. Yeah, this is a nice 72, so I'll put that aside. A nice Captain Cook. I do keep them if I find them in good condition. They are starting to dry up a bit. Now with this one, I'm not sure. Now it looks like it's a um a, uh, from the, a knife, but I'm not sure because um it, if it was, it would go through the shield, but this one hasn't. So I don't know if it is or not, or a lamination error, but I, I presume it's just the knife let's cut this but i've put it aside anyway just in case now uh, now this looks like a die fill error it's a 1975 see as you can see the 19's missing so i've put this aside you can see there there's no 19 you can just make it out Seventy-eight. Not sure why I kept this. Maybe there's a cut or something. Oh, it's because of this. I'm not sure if this is an error or something. It looks like a bit of the coin's been chipped away in there. So I just kept that aside. Twenty sixteen. I just kept this aside because it's in very nice condition. It's almost uncirculated, so yeah. Okay, so with the Fed coins, uh, we got Western Australia, Norfolk Island, Queensland, and South Australia. So we've got four. Um, 97, which is in okay condition. The Ram's Head, which is sore. And probably the best find of the day, the 85. So, yeah, I'll keep it, uh, end the video now here. Um, just like to say, I hope you all have a good Christmas um, and a safe and happy new year. And as I said, I will be doing more videos. Um, but, yeah, just not as many as I have been putting out. So, yeah, i just like to thank all my subscribers again and thank you for... All the support and comments, um, I really appreciate it. And yeah, um, I don't really have any goals for the channel next year, but um, if I do come up with some, I'll let you all know. Um, just want I might I'll, I might do a separate video on what I'm thinking of doing with this bag. Um, I would like to pay it forward, and then hopefully other people do the same. With they just take one coin, and then you know they they pay it forward to someone else and then take one coin but yeah I'll, I'll might do a separate video and see um what's what um response i get so yeah okay i'll end it there thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and i'll catch you on the next video